Hi folks, my name is Brian and uh, today I'm going to talk about changing the seal on a uh, Sealand um, toilet. So this is installed in my RV, which is a Neoplan based Pegasus uh, two axle 40 foot motorhome. And I've brought along a couple tools for today. First, because it's a toilet, toilets are nasty, you need good rubber gloves. So I've got some 7 mil nitrile gloves from Harbor Freight. Uh, they were about $3 a box. They're now about $5 a box. You can sometimes catch them on sale. You don't necessarily need the 7 mils, but these are good heavy duty gloves and you never know what kind of shit you're going to find in the toilet, but you don't want to touch it. And along those lines, you need some paper towels. So I've got my favorite brand, which is uh, Kimberly Clark's shop towels, a drill, with a, uh, a bit to run the, the um, clamp that's, on, that's at the base of the toilet. Now, you could do this with a screwdriver, you could do this with a ratchet. Um, I have carpal tunnel, so I'm using a screwdriver. And, um, and then you need a silicon-based lubricant. Now, you might laugh when you see this, but I'm gonna use wet platinum, which is a food safe biodegradable, um, well, I don't know if it's biodegradable or not, but it's a, it, it's a safe um, silicon-based lubricant. I consider it a premium lubricant. It's my favorite lubricant. I just happen to have it, so I don't happen to have a hardware store variety, and I don't want to take chances with chemicals on these seals. So I ordered my seals um, from eBay. Oh, and last but not least, you need a trash can. So um, I ordered these. Uh, this is a, a upgraded seal that was $19.99 made by a company called Spray Quick. And, um, you know, it's it, they, they make a couple of seals, um, but really for $20, $24, including the, the shipping, great deal. And just in case I need it, I, I ordered a brand new um, toilet flange for the base uh, seal. This is the, the one that goes at the bottom. This is the one that goes on the ball. And so the reason I'm replacing this is that this bathroom stinks. It doesn't matter what you do. If there's anything in the holding tank and the door is closed, the odors come out and it's not pretty when you open it. And if you leave the RV cooped up too long, you know, it's waiting for you when you get back. So, um, you know, this is a fairly straightforward uh, product. Um, so I'm gonna take it apart, see what we find. But I don't even have to mess with the water. Now, this RV was built in 1985. So it's kind of old and I have no clue what model this thing is. Um, and I think there might have been a pedestal base on it, but it's long since gone. And that actually turns out to be a good thing because it greatly simplifies my life. So we'll just loosen that and there's uh, God knows what that is. And then if uh, this is as easy as other people's videos make it sound, this should pop right off. Oh, okay, I see how that worked. Good enough. Woo, nastiness. And sure enough, that thing has seen a better universe. Oof. All right, I could have done that a little differently. Ugh. 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 Yeah, so the phrase bad smells live here. Yep, they do. So I'm gonna put some lube on here and I'm actually just gonna kind of scrub the ball. And what I'm really trying to do is lubricate the seal and get rid of the junk, but I wanna, I wanna make sure this ball is really well lubricated so that I don't damage the seal as it wears in. I tell you what, man, if you are queasy or sicky to your stomach, the devil lives here. 
So there's a nice little seal there. So there are two little things that I should have popped off earlier and what I'm doing now is just kind of slipping them back on. The one on the side with the valve is a little bit tight to work on. So we'll actually do it last. Boy, I tell you what, this is a good place for Mr. Clean. This is nasty down here. Even if nasty, grody, disgusting things don't get, up, get to you, you really want to wear gloves for this. So, I don't want cooties on my, on my um, drill, so I'm taking my glove off. Goodbye cooties, hello fresh. All right, that looks like that might be all there is to it. Now I'm just gonna take some bottled water because my water pump is off and that's another project for another day. I'm just gonna pour this in here and see if it stays. So I'll come back and check that in a couple of minutes. So, uh, it's been about 10 minutes now and that water level hasn't moved. So, I pronounce that a fix. So, if, if your RV or your boat toilet is haunted by bad smells, and you know what I'm talking about if this applies to you, you can do it and you've just seen how. If you've got a Sealand or a Thetford toilet with a uh, china bowl or porcelain bowl, Plastic bowls might actually be the same too, but this is this applied to a porcelain bowl. I think this is a series 100 or 110. Um, you know, it's a $24 part away. What are you waiting for? Set yourself free. You don't have to live with a haunted toilet that's that's haunted by you know the stink of the past. So that's easy. On a scale of one to ten, I'd rate that one a one. Have a great day and thanks for watching.